Here you can see that I got a logo and I want to import this into Cinema 4D as a 3D model. In order to do that, first I need to combine all of it into a single shape. So I'm going to select all the layers right here. As you can see, I got different layers right here. Let me select all of it right here. And what I'm going to do is combine all of this into a single layer. But before that, I'm going to go over here, select this one. And if you don't know how to use Illustrator, you can take a look at my Illustrator tutorial series on my playlist. So you can see over here that I got the uh, tube, uh, tube there and I'm going to subtract this out so that it becomes a whole, just like this. And this one, I'm going to combine everything out into a single shape. This makes it easier for us to import it into Cinema 4D. So I'm gonna delete everything out. Once I do that, I'm gonna go to file. I'm gonna save as and over here on my desktop, I'm going to save it as a tutorial file. So I'm going to just replace the file that I have. And the version you will need to select it uh, while exporting is Illustrator 8. That's the only format that uh, Cinema 4D accepts while importing Cinema 4D objects. So I'm going to go over there and press OK. I'm going to press OK again. And I'm going to go back to Cinema 4D. And over here now, I can go to File. I can click on Merge Objects and I can select the Illustrator file, open it. And here you get two options. You get the scale of the centimeter. I'm gonna leave that to 10. You get connected splines or group splines. So I'm gonna click on group splines, press okay. And here you can see that there are groups of spline objects that you have. So everything is uh, imported as you can see, but as, you import, uh, as we imported group splines, we have individual splines like that. We're not going to work with the individual spine, splines, so let me just leave that out. I'm going to go to file, I'm going to click on merge object again, and this time I'm going to import it as connected splines and press OK so that I have less layers to work with. But again, if I were to use the extrude shape right here and drag the tutor tube in, nothing gets ex uh, extruded. So if I, I have to drag in the path one by one into separate extrusions. To save the time, I'm going to group all of the paths right here. So let me just delete the extrude right now. Let me just bring this out, delete the extrude for a while. I'm going to select all the path. I'm going to hold shift select all the path. I'm going to go to object right here and I'm going to connect these objects. So once I connect this, you can see that another path is prepared. And if I were to delete this, this is an overall connected path as you can see. So I have basically a master path. So I can rename this as well if I want to. So I can go over here, I can rename this as logo right there. And once I do that, what you can do is you can simply extrude this out. So I can go over here, extrude this, and there you go. You can extrude the logo out. But one thing that I forgot is that I need to color, color this separately. So I do want this object and these objects to remain separate. So let me just delete this out. And what I'm going to do is merge the object again, select the file. I got the connected splines, press OK. And over here, what I want to do is keep this object separate. I'm just going to combine all of these into one object as connect objects. So I have, I have two paths right here because I want to work with them individually. I'm going to delete the original path right there. So I got the tube part and I got the tutor. So I'm just going to rename this uh, for, uh, for me to e easily remember. So I'm going to say tutor just like this. Press OK. Right. And there you go. There's the tutor right there. So now what I'm going to do is apply extrude on both of the, these. So extrude on that, extrude on this one as well. And there you go. There's the extrusion. You can also control the amount of extrude. So let's say for tube, I want more extrude. So I'm going to go into the object instead of 20 cm. Let's go for 30 cm right here. And it's larger as you can see. Let me just go over here onto the tube and press uh, S to actually focus on it. So I'm going to press S over here so that it focuses on the object. So let me just select both of the extrude right here and bring it up. So I'm going to br bring this up. I'm going to go to the object, select this out, and I'm going to select both of the object actually, so select it and bring it. So I'm going to select both of the these, bring it up so that it's easier uh, for me to work with just like that. All right, there you go. So once you do that, you can see at the side that this tube is bigger. So I'm going to move this bit to the backward. This is the effect I want. And now uh, I'm ready to actually start modeling it. So I'm going to go over to the extrude tool right here. I'm going to go to caps. 
I'm going to select something like a curve cap. Let's say, for example, increase this and you can see that the curve actually happens right there, just like that. So this is the effect I want over here. And for this one, let's say I want a curve cap as well. So I'm going to increase this in size. So you got the curve. Uh, let me just select something else like solid or let's say something like round. OK, so let's say this is the uh, format that I want. So this uh, this is uh, the curve itself, which I want. So nothing changes here. So I'm, I can also go over here and change the type of the curve. So I can go over here just like that. Click here and then arrange the curves out as we did in last lesson to actually get the curves as you can see. So that is how I can do it. I can also increase the segment to make it more smoother as you can see right there. Press S to get back. So that's how you can work out and improve um, um, import a 3D model just like that. On in between you can see that there's the um, a tube which is actually empty I want something to, uh, to be white over there so I'm gonna bring that one out as well so I'm going to add in the material so I'm gonna click here and you can see that this is the material so I'm gonna choose black for my tutor tube and for my uh, tube the uh, box itself I'm gonna choose red which is my color itself so I'm just gonna drag it on directly over here and you can see that the logo looks wonderful now it actually looks really good and all of this actually uh, got started in Illustrator itself. So I don't want the tube to be totally empty right here. So I'm going to go on to the front view. I'm going to make something out of the spline tool right here, out of the spline pen tool to actually cover that out. It need not be very, very uh, perfect. I'm just going to cover that out just like that. And I'm going to press the space bar and I'm going to go back over here. So once I do that, you got the spline. So I'm going to go on to the extrude right here to actually use that. So you can see that everything is covered up. So for that one, I'm just going to use a white color. So I'm gonna choose white right here, drag it onto uh, the extrude object, and there you go. There's the uh, file right there. So I'm gonna just click this. I'm gonna move it backward over here, and there you go. There's my tutor tube right there. So that is how I can uh, create a 3D logo. And we're going to learn more about applying materials inside of our extrude spline objects uh, made by using Adobe Illustrator uh, in further lessons. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.